The Bounty Hunter. Jennifer Aniston. And uh, Jennifer Aniston is uh, uh, an excellent actress, of course. And I have a feeling that she's also a very um, a special person, let's say that, or off the set of stage. Um, in her pronouncements, uh, recently she said that young people and uh, children uh, are rejecting, she didn't use those words, friends. They find that, you know, some of it more most uh, offensive, something like that. Then there was that thing that the attacks she suffered because she doesn't have children. And then again, she didn't, or I don't know of any uh, <laughs> Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, sort of um, outrageousness or outrageous behaving. Yes. Uh, so, or Gwyneth Paltrow and her groups. The, the, I keep mentioning uh, Adventures in the Screen Trade. Uh, William Baldwin, the one who gave audiences the script for uh, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, all the presidents went for which, for both of which he won the Oscar for Best Screenplay. And other, the script for other movies. And this splendid book, the. Uh, if you Google for it, uh, and you find that and that's how I came to read it. It's one of the most important for, for movies, uh, as far as I'm concerned. The most important I had a chance to read. Uh, it being kind of the movies. I'm, I'm sorry to turn my back on you. I mean, uh, hypothetical you, because uh, I'm concerned with what. Puccini, uh, the other fellow. <laughs> oh, oh, well, so well trained, you heard his name. Jim uh, Gurti has uh, taken off my watch at one point. So, uh, in Adventures in the Screen Train, we find what shenanigans. <laughs> This behavior uh, is characteristic for some stars, all stars. That's important. It doesn't come out good from the book. Uh, Robert Redford. But then at one point, uh, Goldman gives an interview. I see on YouTube. Look for the man too. It's very instructive and it tells you a lot about movies and about actors and so on writing and he says something like the only two actors I know that don't care about adulation and uh, compliments and worship and so on uh, and, and all of them do, <laughs> do want to when they come this way oh, it's for you you'll be so great and things like that that's one that's why one becomes an actor they want to they want for admiration, appreciation, and more. So the only two would be uh, Paul Newman and Clint Eastwood, the, one, the ones uh, Goldman knows. And Eastwood, the poor man, has his Trump mean, some excesses with everybody. I hope he's not a Trump fan, but, but when you talk with an empty chair of the Republican convention, that was weird. So. Uh, being a Republican these days would be weird. Unless, well, it would be those who oppose Trump, that's, that's fine, that's, that's still a chance. But to embrace a, an outfit that... So what was the... Ah, yeah, well, well, the bounty hunter is not really worth it. It's, it's a pity. They waste the talent of um, yeah, Jennifer Nance. As for Joe Butler, 300 was such a success. He was a hit here, but that's because for a few months, I don't know, he had a, 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 a claim or whatever, maybe it's an intimacy with Madalina Vienna, or I don't know if that's a, a, a true name, uh, but sort of a, a supermodel, uh, 
very beautiful woman, uh, 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 an actress who, who had a small role in youth. Michael Caine, Harvey Keitel, and well, a few great ones. And she's on the poster. Harvey Keitel and Michael Caine, the characters, are in a jacuzzi in this place. Um, a spa in the mountains of Switzerland. And this nude woman, splendid uh, body, uh, naked, is coming in, into the thing. She's taking the looking at the man from the jacuzzi down there. Too. And that's all. Uh, yeah, well. uh, and the new networks follow them on, in the mountains. And, that was a thing, but as actor, not one of my favorites. And Bounty Hunter doesn't really work. 